Hello everyone, welcome to this day. It is Thursday and it is May 18th. Now we have a few meetings to tell you about, a few that were canceled. Uh, we have one at 9.30 this morning and that is the GRF Agenda Prep that will be in the Willow Room. And then, um, oh excuse me, I'm sorry. Yes, that one is at 9.30. Then the ones that are canceled is the United Architectural Controls and the United Governing Docs uh, meeting. So both of those have been canceled. Now tomorrow at 9 a.m. is the third new resident orientation and that will be uh, at 9 and it will be in the boardroom but you do need to RSVP today at info at lagunawoodsvillage.com. Now on our show today we have Lenny Ross who is the president of United Mutual and he's going to give us an update about uh, what's been happening in the area as well as the United um, meeting that he had. Then we have the Boomers Club with Diane McQuig and Susan Schneider. They have a big event coming up this weekend and they want to let you know about a couple of other things that are coming up in the next couple months. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our weather. Well, we still have our morning fog and that will be burning off to partly cloudy skies most likely today, 68, 58, 70, 59, 72, 59, 72, 60, and 70, 58. Our sunrise this morning was at 548 and our sunset will be at 747 and this is a shot out of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Just beautiful. We have beaches all over so I'll be sharing those with you over the next uh, several days. And then just as a reminder the reservation lottery is going on right now. You can reserve your clubhouse spot for 2024. Pick up the lottery tickets in the recreation office or email them a reservation request to recreation at vmsinc.org. The deadline is June 15th, and the notifications will all go out September 1st. All right, when we come back, we'll have Lenny Ross with the United Update, so stick around. Welcome to Pacific Financial Planners. We focus on income replacement for your retirement. We have over three decades of professional money management experience. We personalize a plan that's right for you and your family. You only get one shot at retirement. Don't you think you better get it right? So give us a call for your free consultation. We can do this over the phone, via Zoom, or in person. What's happened to healthcare? It wasn't so long ago that your doctor understood your health history because they were part of it. From labor pains to life's health challenges, you could rely on that relationship with your family physician. Then something happened. Healthcare changed. Seeing a doctor can feel like running into a stranger. A 60-minute wait for a six-minute visit. Hogue Medical Group is here to change all of that. Our doctors do more than react to illness. They become your personal physician for life. Always listening, never rushing, helping to chart a healthy path together, walking with you at every turn. This is the way healthcare was meant to be, with enhanced features such as same-day appointments, care coordination, and direct access to Hoag's world-class professionals and services. Hoag Medical Group. We listen. We care. We're committed to you for life. Achieve a level of comfort you've never known before. The Daydreamer will take you through smooth movements and guide you effortlessly into your favorite positions. Adjust the power pillow for ideal support for your head and neck. This and our positioning technology allows for infinite relaxation. Lay back in zero gravity while watching TV and put your body and mind at ease. Lift your spirits and find your favorite daydream. Contact your local Golden Retailer today. Welcome back. As I mentioned, we have Lenny Ross here, who is the president of the United Mutual Board. Welcome. Nice Thank to you. see you. It's good to see you, too. We were just chatting a little bit about uh, your town hall meetings, which seem to be working pretty well, and I, and we'll get to that in just a little bit. But yeah. in any case, you had a meeting last week, and uh, you are here yeah. to let us know what happened. Okay. Um, thank you. And um, it's always good to see you all out in Channel 6 land, <laughs> and uh, welcome to everyone who's uh, watching. Um, 
So the first thing that we did was um, we recognized the passing of one of our board members. He worked on GRF and United. His name was Don Tibbetts. He served for over 20 years on our boards, yeah. quite a long time, including as United first vice president, second vice president, and treasurer, and was chair of the Golden Rain Foundation Mobility and Vehicles, Security and Access Committees. He will sorely be missed, and um, he was a great leader of our community, oh. and we, we, we do miss him. So yeah, it's been it's been a, a big loss for a lot of people. So yes. uh, that was nice that you did that. Yeah, and and the second item was um, we approved a supplemental appropriation for damage restoration to uh, catch up with case backlogs. We're back backlogged in 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 this particular area. Mm -hmm. So in order to catch up. We have to hire some additional staff. They'll be right. working on weekends. Okay. And it'll cost us approximately 160000 to hire the staff. Mm -hmm. But the estimate is that we'll receive back around $1.5 million as a result of this. And, and it'll take about six months to get caught up. Right. But, um, but it's, it's something that we need to do to get caught up. Exactly. So we're working okay. on that. Fantastic. And then next item is two announcements by our CEO to make us a little more efficient operation. Um, we, we have just purchased um, two buses. Um, the cost estimate was 35000 less than the 18 to 22 passenger buses used on some routes. Mm -hmm. um, they get 19 miles per gallon compared to the 10 miles per gallon for the current buses. Um, they generate about six to 7,000 in annual fuel savings or 42,000 to 49,000 for seven year life of each vehicle. So you'll be seeing them running around the community. <laughs> They're much smaller, much more efficient buses. And the okay. second item that she announced was that we'll receive a rebate for our new weather track irrigation system right. of three hundred and fifty thousand dollars, yep. so that's pretty sizable. Is, yeah, and I, we were warning yeah. the uh, residents that that's what they're doing is they're installing it now. Everything is going all over the place, which is great, and that is an amazing savings, isn't it? That's good. It's it's really going to be helpful. The next item is if I could flip the page. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, one of the things that we're working on, and this is actually we're doing this in conjunction with Third as well, but when um, remodels take place in our community, we figured it's a good opportunity for the remodeler for us to give a credit to the owner mm -hmm. in lieu of them doing things for our properties that we would normally have to take care of when they do the remodel. I'll oh. give you an example. like. When we remodel, um, sometimes the remodeler updates the pipes mm. and puts in new pipes. Now, we would normally have to be responsible for that as an HOA every, mm. every so often to take care of our pipes. So we're studying the idea of offering a rebate at the time of remodel, which would make it a little more efficient instead of us having to take care of all the manners when their pipes go bad. Oh. And, and so that way we could update our manners accordingly to when, the, when they're updated or when they're remodeled. Okay. And so we're, we're studying that idea and it might become a good idea for our whole community and we're evaluating that now. So when you say you're studying it, does that mean you're actually putting it in place and to see how it goes, so you're testing it? No, actually okay. maintenance and construction is coming up with a plan. Okay. And they'll be presenting it to our boards. Okay. And, and we'll be evaluating it and see if it makes sense. Okay. And if it does, if the boards agree, we'll, we'll go ahead and implement it. Perfect. So that's okay. the plan. Fantastic. And um, then the, um, our United Ad Hoc Investment Committee is interviewing institutional financial advisors who will best meet our investment policy, mm -hmm. which they came up with, mm -hmm. which emphasizes safety over liquidity and return. Mm -hmm. 
The committee will likely recommend the best financial advisor at our June board meeting. And we're meeting with very, very big institutional investors like Chase Bank mm -hmm. and Comerica, Co Bank of America. Right. So big, big name institutions that have a lot of experience with working with HOAs. Great. And we're going to be selecting the best of the best. And, and they'll be working with United mm -hmm. as we move forward. Now, how many uh, different financial advisors are you meeting with? We're meeting with six. Six. Yeah. Okay, great. Six. I mean, they all have different experiences, right? And when you say safety, isn't that the key right now? Safety And, and is the, the fact key. that you're talking to some of the main uh, uh, banks versus maybe a regional bank, because I know there's some scare out there about regional banks right yes. now. So. Yes. Okay, good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we're talking to the larger banks, mm -hmm. which, which are generally the safer banks. Usually, yeah. yes. <laughs> and um, we're continuing to prepare legally reviewed documents for private investors to provide loans to our members. Mm -hmm. And what's important is that the funds that we get uh, will be supplied from private investors. They won't be using any of our reserves. Um, so there was a misconception that that was the case, but it's not. This is private money coming from private sources. And we're now evaluating this program to see if we could implement it. And we're very close to doing that. Uh, probably within the next month, we'll be proposing it to our board mm -hmm. and then implementing a plan. And what would you be using those loans for? Oh, the loans would be for purchasing properties oh. in United. Oh, I see. Right now, nobody is able to borrow money for United oh, properties okay. because of the insurance coverage. Right. It's not sufficient. Gotcha. And to, to, to warrant Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac mm -hmm. so loans. So in order to overcome that, we had to go to private loans. Okay. And so that's, and, and right now, United members have no way of refinancing their properties. Ugh. So if they have health bills, they, they need to pull out money from their properties, they can't do that. They can't do that. So yeah. we're coming up with a way that could possibly help them do that. Okay, so very good. That should, that should be very helpful to a lot of members. And um, next item is At our May town hall, um, speaking of town halls, uh -huh. most of the United Committee's chairs provided some of the key accomplishments and some of the current projects that they're working on. Mm -hmm. At our June town hall, uh, we're providing to review reasons for increased property insurance, which have significantly increased because of all the fires mm. in California right. and elsewhere and explain what our board is doing to try to minimize that increase. Mm -hmm. Because right now it costs us over $3 million a year Ugh. for United for property insurance and we have no claims. Mm -hmm. And yet we're paying $3 mm -hmm. million a year. Right. So we're looking at ways to try to reduce that. Okay. And finally, the last item is the Spring Real Estate Forum, which was held Wednesday, May 3rd. We had a very large crowd of 120 attending. Mm -hmm. The community service staff discussed with realtors about resales, resale inspections, alterations, and damage restoration process, and insurance. And mm -hmm. it was a well-attended meeting, and I think they're going to have another meeting, a follow-up meeting in July about okay, the same good. subjects. So let's let's talk a little bit about um, the meetings versus the town halls. Yeah. So you and I were talking off camera that the town halls really are getting a lot of people coming. Mm -hmm. So what do you think the difference is? Why don't people maybe want to come to the board meetings? Instead, they would rather go to the town halls. I think it's a matter of convenience. Um, and I think um, also the town halls are um, a little later in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. They're on a Friday, and it's from 2 to 4. Right. And it's a little easier maybe to get to the town halls um, at our clubhouse, um, at our performing arts center mm -hmm. where we have it. Mm -hmm. And we have it every month. Right. And maybe the uh, open meetings which happen to start at 9.30 in the morning on yeah. a Tuesday. And maybe people, people are, are still coffee. sleeping. Yeah, or still <laughs> sleeping, you know. So, um, and they could watch those on TV. They're all televised. Right. But when we, we welcome people to either 
right. our town halls and our meetings. Okay. But I, I'm not sure why we don't get more people at our regular meetings. Right. But um, oh, I wish we did. Yeah. Um, but I know that people are out there watching. Right. Well, one thing that I think um, is important that you said um, earlier is about the town halls is that it's it's a little more generalized. Well, mm -hmm. not necessarily general in the way that everybody's meeting and maybe less formal, right? And you have specific mm -hmm. subject matters that you're talking about yes. each time rather than a, a, an agenda. Yes. So, yeah. um, and then at the at the town halls, are people allowed to ask questions at that oh, time yeah. too? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and, and those are about um, the, the, the subjects generally are subjects that people have a lot of interest in, right. like repairs, yes. what happens, what kind of repairs can you make mm -hmm. at your expense, mm -hmm. at the HOA expense, mm -hmm. um, there, there are uh, costs of insurance, there, there, there are things that affect people every day, yeah. and, um, and they're very pressing issues. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think town halls, if we cover them well, in advance to let people know about them, mm -hmm. they're going to be very well attended because yeah. they're things that they really care about. Right, and of course, mm -hmm. the next one that's coming up, which is in June, in June. is always a big one, is the insurance cost insurance. because, like you said, uh, the premiums that we're paying is for other areas because there's really, I mean, there's a slight fire danger around here, but then you right. all, you have to argue with the insurance companies, like, right. well, why are we having to pay so much? Right, so, absolutely. I, I know you're on a, you have an uphill battle on that one, so yeah. uh, thank you for yeah. working on that. And thank well, you for the information. Oh, you're welcome. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. If you want any information about what we have just discussed, you can always send an email to generalmanager at vmsinc.org, and we will send it off to the appropriate person on the United Board. We'll be right back. This is a homage speech. Achieve a level of comfort you've never known before. The Daydreamer will take you through smooth movements and guide you effortlessly into your favorite positions. Adjust the power pillow for ideal support for your head and neck. This and our positioning technology allows for infinite relaxation. Lay back in zero gravity while watching TV and put your body and mind at ease. Lift your spirits and find your favorite daydream. Contact your local Golden Retailer today. Welcome back. We have Diane and Susan here on behalf of the Boomers Club. Well, welcome, ladies. Nice to see Thank you again, you. and welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today. Now, of course, you guys just had a great event. Tell me how it went. Oh, it went phenomenally. It yeah? was wonderful, yeah. Good, good. And then you've got another one coming up uh, next, well, pretty much like next week. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you've got another one that's coming up shortly uh, thereafter. So let's just start with the first one. So it's called Typical Gypsies. Mm -hmm. Tell me about them. They are going to be our band on the 20th, and they call themselves because they are the funnest band in the world. Mm -hmm. So that's what they formed to do. Um, they have lots of lighting and, you know, put up just lots of fun, fun, fun time. Okay. Um, five piece, they do anything rock country, R&B, hip-hop, 80s, everything in between. Oh. Um, they put on an amazing show, like I said, state-of-the-art okay. uh, lighting and, Excellent. and such. Excellent. Excellent. Now, now, you're in charge of getting the bands. Yes. So that means you have to go to a lot of bars and yes. listen to a lot of bands, which isn't such a bad gig. No, not right? such a bad so, gig. So not bad. So how did you find these guys? These um, guys played with for us last year, so I have to okay. give a trip to the person that was before me. Okay. He hired them. All right. We loved them so much mm -hmm. that we we brought them back. They're easy to work with. They're great. They're fun. And that's what it's all Had about. Had to have them back. Yep. Excellent. Well, we have a clip of them, so let's go ahead and listen okay. to the typical gypsies.
All right, so that was the typical gypsies. Awesome, and like you said, very fun. That's gonna be May 20th in Clubhouse 5. Now, uh, there's gonna be some sort of a theme Going. We always have a theme, and this time we're going to do wear your favorite party outfit. We don't <laughs> care if it's country, rock and roll, R&B, whatever you want, your favorite dance outfit. Nice. And we have something really special this time, too, that people have been asking for for a while. Oh. We're going to have singles tables. So oh. people have been asking. They want to sit with, sing, you know, with other people, mingle. Um, I've always said, you know, come up on the dance floor. You don't need a partner. Yeah. If you don't want to dance with your partner, that's fine. You can come up and dance with me because I'm always at the front. <laughs> so uh -huh. now we're going to have actual <laughs> tables that singles can sit at. So okay. now, if they want to go to this, um, do they need to buy a ticket ahead of time or can they get them at the door? No, it's, it's free to all members. Oh, free to all members. But if they have a guest, it's $15. $15. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Fantastic. So singles tables. So what are you going to do? You just go, so are you single? And yeah. you're just going to bring them to the table? You know, all we have to do is put a sign there. <laughs> We just let people know and trust me, they'll be asking, where's the singles table? Where's the singles table? Yeah. I love that. That is awesome. All right, perfect. So that is one event of many. Then you have the I Am King one, which is the uh, Michael Jackson tribute band. And we've been talking it about that one for a bit. Straight from Vegas. And it's yeah. more than a band. It's, this is a big production. Right. So we have almost sold out. We literally have a handful of tickets left to okay. this show. Okay. Uh, it's Saturday, May 27th. You get your tickets at the pack. Mm -hmm. uh, they're 30 35 and $40. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a great show. We're looking forward to it. And, you know, and this is one of your special events, so that's why there are ticket prices exactly. as opposed to one of your other events, right? right? Exactly. Okay. All right. And our other big event this year is Laguna Woodstock, and it's going to be here before we know it. I know. Uh, right around the corner. Yep. It's um, June 24th. Clubhouse 2 from noon to 8.30. Uh, tickets are $20. You can buy them online. Um, we're also selling them in person at Clubhouse 2 on alternating Mondays and Wednesday, oh, I'm sorry, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Mm -hmm. and, and we have these really cool t-shirts. We have the tank. Oh, look at that. Yeah, with the logo. And oh. then we have just, you know, like the regular. Oh, look at those. Those yeah, are awesome. They're cool. Oh, very so fun. We're selling those so you're selling those at the event? We're selling them. Okay. Well, we're, um, well, we're selling tickets at Clubhouse yep. 2, and we'll be selling them at the event. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Fantastic. So well, very fun. Yeah. It's, it, uh, this year, the theme is more music, more food, more fun. It's just going to be bigger and better than ever. Yeah, well, it's a lot of work, and you guys do a great job. It's a, it's a huge undertaking but the community really appreciates everything that you do. So thank you. You're welcome. All right. And if you want more information about what the Boomers have coming up, or maybe you want to participate with them, go to boomersclub.org. We'll be right back. Radnet? You've probably heard our name and seen our commercials, but you still might not know who we are. Radnet is the largest provider of outpatient imaging services in the United States, with over 8,000 employees and almost 400 imaging centers in seven states. Likely, if you have had diagnostic imaging, you have experienced Radnet's high-quality, cost-effective imaging services. With 35 years of expertise, Radnet is leading into the future with advanced technology and the very latest AI technology. We are positioned for the future of healthcare. Radnet, leading radiology forward. We've got a great weekend lineup for you. So if you would like to go to the Renaissance Fair, that is going to be on Saturday, May 20th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Equestrian Center. Tickets are $10 at the door. They're gonna have lots of fun stuff, dancing, music, performances, uh, lots of different booths, a blacksmith games, 
and they're also going to have the Queen's Court and the Knight's Horses. So they're going to parade around some of the horses with some beautiful decorations. Uh, your $10 includes a complimentary drink and also a shuttle bus, which will be going from the upper lot behind the Equestrian Center. Uh, and we also have Memorial Day coming up at the end of the month, and that's going to be Monday, May 29th at the Performing Arts Center at 1 p.m. Donations are requested, and the proceeds will go to Operation Comfort Soldier, and as I mentioned, that's on Monday, May 29th. Then we've got Father's Day that is right around the corner, and if you would like to reserve your spot for Father's Day brunch, which is on June 18th at Clubhouse 5 at 11 a.m., the best thing to do is to get your tickets at the Clubhouse 5 box office, or you can purchase tickets by calling 949-597-4382 or email recreation at recreation at vmsinc.org. And then just to save the date, Woodstock's coming up in June. The Boomers Club is busy working on lots of fun activities for you. It's going to be on June 24th at Clubhouse 2, and of course we will have more information the next time the Boomers are on. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our weather one last time. We are still waiting to burn off our morning uh, overcast, but we are going to clear to partly sunny skies today. 68, 58, 70, 59, 72, 59, 72, 60, and 70, 58. Have a great day in the village. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on Village Television at 9 a.m. Bye-bye. Diane's Hallmark in Laguna Niguel is now an Elam's Hallmark, and we are excited to be part of your community. We have just remodeled, and you will be surprised by the wide variety of fashion and accessories, home decor, collectibles, Disney, Peanuts, Harry Potter, and Star Wars, along with the largest Hallmark card selection in town. Stop in today and sign up for our Crown Rewards program and get a free Just Because card. Once a member, you can get a free card once a month. Elam's Hallmark, your neighborhood gift store. Living and learning in Laguna Woods Village is a unique experience. For over 45 years, the Emeritus Institute has provided tuition-free college classes within your community. Join us to experience expert faculty, quality academics, and to make friends through the Emeritus Institute. New classes start every semester, and you can join nearly any time. Visit us anytime at saddleback.edu slash emeritus. Learn, live, and thrive with the Emeritus Institute. Mary Ann Bamberger writes, When I first walked into the sewing room, I was shown such kindness and patience. I'm now part of the sewing room staff. It's awe-inspiring that Judy Yen comes into the sewing room five days a week to sew quilts for various charities. Her time and kindness is truly a beautiful thing.